Hey Gemini, how you guys doing? This is Ashley from Serendipity Tarot and this is your general tarot reading for the end of March 2023 for Gemini Sun, Moon Rising and Venus placements. If you enjoy this reading, please do let me know, like, share, comment and subscribe. Your bonus extended reading for the month of March. How does my partner feel? Your person of interest. It is available on Vimeo. And if you're interested in a personalized tarot reading, I do have some sales going on on my readings, my tarot decks, oracle decks, spiritual jewelry, cheat sheets. You can go to my Etsy shop, but you can also go to my website if you want to book a reading there as well. Okay, so Gemini, let's jump right in. Let's see what we can find out. Messages for Gemini. Card flipped out. Okay, Gemini, let's get the one card challenge that you could be dealing with right now pertaining to love, romance, and partnership, okay? All right, we have a card that flipped over. We have the two of rods. So Gemini, you may be very indecisive about how to move forward with regard to a situation. Maybe there is a fire sign you're dealing with, Leo, Sag, Aries. It feels like you're just not sure which direction to go or maybe like the expectations of the relationship, right? Where are we going? What are we doing here, right? What's the future look like? You may be having to choose between two things, two opportunities, two paths, maybe even two people. But there's something about action. Okay, Gemini, maybe you haven't been able to take action on a matter because you're in this place of confusion and indecision. All right, so Gemini, in the recent past, it almost makes me feel like for some of you guys, someone is indecisive about you, hence why you're in this, this energy of the two wands. You're not sure which direction to go. So in the past, Gemini, we have the energy of the Fool in reverse, the Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles, and the Two of Pentacles in reverse, okay? So we got four cards. Um, in the past, I do feel like there was a new beginning on the horizon with the Fool card, but there was some trust issues. Someone was untrusting of this opportunity. And it's interesting because we have the Two of Cups with the Fool. So it was almost like this person knew that you were for them. They had this amazing connection with you on an emotional level, on a soul level. But still, someone here was in denial or discounted their feelings. They didn't trust their feelings, okay? And so it feels like this beginning never happened. I also feel like there's a juggling energy here. So someone here definitely was going back and forth, second-guessing themselves. Maybe even like just uh, having doubts, okay? They're hesitant about making that move forward. Now, with the Two of Pentacles in verse, this could suggest that something had to be dropped or let go. Maybe someone had to make a sacrifice or no longer give to a particular thing energetically, time, effort, right? Because something, you know, it feels like there was a, some back and forth going on, okay? Especially with the Two of Wands, Two of Pentacles could be juggling two people. And it feels like Gemini, you know, there's an idea that something here like required more energy, more effort. It's like if we're going to make this happen, Knight of Pentacles, if we want some kind of long term, solid relationship, long term relation, we need to really put in. We need to be consistent. We need to be reliable. We need to trust each other. Now, give me the current energy, Gemini. We have the moon in reverse, the death in reverse in the world. OK, all these major arcanas. So. With the death, it could be a Scorpio, it could be a Pisces or Cancer. There's something coming out and it feels like it's about time, the world. Maybe it took forever. But with the moon, it could be something being revealed. It could be a secret, right? It could be something coming out and it's going to change things. But it feels like it's going to change things for the better with the world, okay? Um, it, it even feels like with the moon, maybe someone is now in a place of letting go of fears, any insecurities, anything that they may have that may have kept things from really taking off. The death in the verse is change, it's transformation, okay? Um, it also could speak about something ending and now a revival, a resurrection, something coming back to life. And it almost makes me feel like is someone ready to let go of their fears and insecurities pertaining to love and, you know, ready to finally open up to something and move forward. And that could be allowing for this new revival, a resurrection of a relationship that may have been once dead, right? There's a new beginning on the horizon. And with the world, it could be signifying of lessons, life lessons, right? Someone now being open to an opportunity coming back around. So let's take a look at your person's energy, Gemini. All right, we have the Knight of Swords, Ten of Rods, the Star, and the Ace of Swords. It does feel like someone here may have lost hope and love. It feels like maybe they're not as um, optimistic as you are, Gemini, pertaining to love. I feel there's the energy of your person not 
not speaking or not talking because they've been feeling quite burdened by this okay ten of wands maybe there's some burdens from their past there could be some past baggage right emotional baggage physical baggage and there's something that they didn't really share with you there's something that maybe they haven't been as open about and it's pertaining to the past their burdens okay burdens of the past and i think that's what kept this person from being optimistic about love they didn't look at it as um like a fantasy they didn't look at it as like a dream come true or looked at it as being positive right there could be a very a pessimistic energy pertaining to love and that is why maybe they had some kind of fears okay that created blockages in this connection it kept them from moving forward with you and giving us an opportunity the full card is like let's move forward let's jump into the unknown and someone was not ready to take that risk in the past so it feels like the two pentacles in the verse can also be dropping something from their past that created burdens and blockages, right? And there's healing that has to take place because of that star card. This could be an Aquarius. Even better, we have the Ace of Swords. So there could be some kind of honest, truthful communication that comes into you, Gemini. Maybe you've been waiting for this because the Ace of Swords is going to give you much needed clarity and direction as to what's been going on in this connection, Gemini. Um, there's truth. Especially if your person has been holding back. They've been reluctant to talk or share what's been going on. The Ace of Swords is cutting through. It's honest. It's truthful. As far as the outcome, we have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the King of Cups, Gemini. Um, we have Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. And then we have the Queen of Swords in reverse. So you may be a little bit reluctant to hearing this person out, but I definitely feel someone is coming to you with a lot of deep emotions and feelings. Like King of Cups has a lot of feelings and it feels like they're now more open to expressing it if you give them the opportunity to, if you give them the platform and means to express and communicate. Queen of Swords in a verse could suggest that Gemini, maybe you're not so open to hearing this person out. Maybe you feel like they've been dishonest with you. And so you may be very like almost cutting them with a knife or, you know, <laughs> it feels like you're not as friendly when it comes to communicating with them because of some kind of past event. It feels like there's a missed opportunity here for sure. And I think that you may find out this person has a lot more feelings than maybe you thought they had. Or maybe they just never showed it. And so you discounted their feelings for you, right? Let's take a look. Let's see what else we can find out. We're going to see where things can go. I'm going to find out what that communication could be about. If you enjoy these readings, like, share, comment, and subscribe. All right. The two of rods. What's this two of rods about? Some kind of indecision here. Let's pull these cards down. Six of Swords. So the Two of Rods and the Six of Swords, there's something from the past that feels like it's been left unresolved, right? There's the energy of like some kind of issue that hasn't been addressed and the challenge is to address it, right? That's why you guys are at a crossroads and not sure which direction to go because there's something still from the past that is bothering you regarding this person. And it's not until you resolve it and make peace with it that you'll be able to better make decisions regarding you and them. So in the past, give me the energy of that full card. Someone was not ready to take that leap of faith, to jump into the unknown, right? We have the wheel in a verse, the five of rods, and the death. So yeah, this is someone in the past that was fighting this connection. They didn't give this an opportunity to thrive, to move forward. Five of wands is just resistance, fighting. It could be like a tug of war energy, but it also could talk about other people, competition, um, family, friends. Maybe there was literally someone that caused an ending with regard to you and them. But the five of wands just makes me feel like someone just brought a lot of complication and difficulty to the connection. And so it an ending happened, the death, something here ended, okay? And it feels like the full universe is because this person wasn't willing to take that leap of faith, to take that risk. But not only that, the wheel in the verse suggesting that something just wasn't going to move forward the way you wanted it anyway. So maybe it ended for a reason. And maybe you're not seeing why it played out this way, but the wheel in the verse, it wasn't going to move forward in the direction you want it to. Um, it could be a Scorpio. Now, give me the two of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. The sun in the verse and the queen of wands. So for some of you, there could have been some juggling going on with regard to another person, a fire sign, Leo, Sag, Aries. There could have been some juggling going on um, because it feels like someone was indecisive as to whether they wanted to give to you or another passionate lover. There was someone creating a blockage in the relationship. For some of you, there's someone's past was related to a queen of wands, okay? And maybe it was very dark and very heavy. The sun in verse could be very depressive, uh, very depressive energy. So maybe someone was hiding 
their past with a queen of wands because the sun universe is just it's not a good energy right it feels like um maybe there were some delays okay or you know delays in a relationship because of a queen of wands that they are connected to okay because there is a falling out to a cups in a verse the wheel in a verse could suggest something from the past that kept them stuck and kept them from embracing this love with you but one thing about the sun in a verse is that you know even if things were not where it's supposed to be at that time it does have the ability to move forward and you know there's healing that could be taking place right and the sun could be indicating of just something not happening right then but it still has the ability to happen, right? There's just delays with the sun in reverse. So it feels like, yeah, I mean, there could have been some, again, delays because of a queen of wands in someone's life or in their past. Two of pentacles in reverse, maybe someone had to drop or let go of that queen of wands or make some kind of sacrifice in order to have the happiness that they wanted with you with the sun card. It could be a Leo here. Now, let's see what the moon is about. The moon can be speaking about something coming to light, okay? We got the nine of swords. Let's take that out. Nine of Swords flipped out, and it's in the reverse position. So there could be something being released with the moon in reverse, maybe some fears, anxiety, stress, okay? Someone's been overthinking. Um, Gemini, this could be you, can also be your person. But the Nine of Swords in reverse is telling me that if there's been a lot of stress about something from the past, it's been affecting you, your eating habits, your sleeping habits, been affecting your work productivity, someone is now ready to release that. Four cups and the fool. This is interesting because that fool is supporting that death in a row. Some kind of new beginning, revival, fresh start, new opportunity, fresh perspective on a situation. After some kind of rejection with the four cups, after some kind of you know missed opportunity there is a new beginning that is taking place and a full card can be literally someone coming in and presenting a new opportunity the fool it's like hey how about we do this how about we do things differently and the world could be indicating it's happening after some kind of huge karmic cycle someone here could be now ready to let go of their fears and securities or anything that's kept them from holding back because the moon universe is like i'm letting it out I'm letting it be known and I'm releasing it. So the fool is a new beginning on the horizon with someone here that may have pushed this relationship away. They're letting go of anxiety, fears, insecurities that could be getting in the way of this new beginning. So again, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, we got Aries as well. There's something your person isn't telling you, the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Wands. It could be something about burdens of the past. Eight of Swords, Ace of Wands, and a Verse and a Five of Swords. So this is just further con um, confirming that your person was just fighting the relationship. This is someone that lied about not wanting to be with you. Ace of Wands and a Verse is suggesting that if this person pulled back from you, Gemini, if all of a sudden they stopped showing you interest, they stopped desiring you, they stopped wanting to be with you, there was a reason, but maybe they didn't give you the right reason because a five of swords can talk about something being being dishonest, not being direct, not being forthcoming. It's like literally they made up a lie and told you something that wasn't true as to why they couldn't be there with you, as to why they stopped showing up. And so definitely there's a need to heal something from their past, okay? But I feel like this affected them more than anything. Certainly it affected you, it hurt you. You may have felt like they didn't care for you, right? They rejected and pushed you away. But the Eight of Swords would tell me that this also kept them feeling stuck and tied. They, they were stuck in a situation they didn't want to be in. It's like they wanted love with you, Gemini, but they couldn't have it, right? It was out of their own reach because of their own insecurities, their past, something that was holding them back. The good thing is that the star, there's healing that has to take place, right? And it also feels like if they were fighting this, if they were fighting, doing the work, finally recognize that, you know what, I have some insecurities and shortcomings from my past. I have to overcome this. They're now embracing it. They're now aware that, you know what, I have to work on this. And if I don't work on this, I'll never have the love that I want. So the Ace of Swords, tell me more about this Ace of Swords. Communication coming to you, Gemini. Knight of Wands in the verse and the Hierophant. So this is telling me that your person, Gemini, is going to come to you with some kind of communication. It could be regarding a past marriage that has failed. There could be something about marriage, commitment in general, some kind of fears regarding commitment. There's some kind of explanation as to why they weren't able to take that next step with regard to commitment, with regard to marriage, okay? Hierophant is higher levels of commitment of some sort. There's some kind of non-committal energy here. So your person could be giving you some kind of clarity, truth, 
um, opening up to you as to why they couldn't take that next step with you because the Knight of Wands in reverse, they weren't having it. They were afraid. They were insecure. They feared the worst, right? There's a reason as to why they were pulling away with the Knight of Wands in reverse with regard to commitment. And now there's clarity and truth coming out regarding that. For some of you, there's literally like a feeling of like, I, I was afraid. I didn't think I could do this. I, I failed one time at commitment. I was married before. It didn't work out. And there could be literally an energy like that. But I'm explaining to you what happened. Now, as far as the outcome, we have a missed opportunity. Um, give me more information about this King of Cups coming in. Someone really wants to apologize. Page of Cups and the Six of Cups is here. Someone definitely is wanting to find a way on how they can express their feelings in a way that you're going to receive it, right? Because the Queen of Swords in verse Gemini, you're not going to be so quick to receive it. And so there's the energy of like, how do I go about apologizing to Gemini? I want to tell them I'm sorry. I want to tell them how awful I feel. And there's the energy of wanting to apologize because Six of Cups, they want to reunite. They want to reconnect. They want to come back together with this, with this uh, you, their past lover, right? Six of Cups is a past lover wanting to reunite, having a lot of feelings of nostalgia, reminiscing, dreaming of the past times, precious moments, shared experiences. And so they feel like they've missed out on something. Something that could be very um, stable. Ace of Pentacles. Pentacles of stability. So this is definitely someone that's in their feelings and could be now expressing and learning how to open up with their feelings in order to have this reunion and reconciliation with you, okay? Now, the biggest challenge for you guys is the two wands. Being, being indecisive, not really sure which, which direction to go in, and it's regarding a situation from the past. How do we go about resolving this? Six of Swords, how do we make peace with the past? Is that even possible? So there's definitely some um, decisions to be made regarding this connection. Gemini, that is what I have for you guys. Like, share, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you are aware of when I drop these readings. You don't want to miss out. All right, you guys, take care.